Well, hello there. It's Hashir Tehami back again with another video. In this one, we'll be talking about numbers variables in Figma and how to use them in prototypes. And in this specific example right here, if you can see, it's almost like Instagram, but I'm not going to call it because it's not Instagram. And it's the application that we were building from the from the first video of the series. But yeah, if you press the like button, the number increases. When you press the like button again, the number decreases. And that's exactly what we're going to build in this video. So yeah, let's go. All right, so let's begin. So right here, we have two hard um, icons. One, one of them is filled and one, the other one is hard empty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of them and I'm going to create a component set. So these are two variants of the same component and I'm going to grab one of them and I'm going to type filled equal to yeah, true and the other one filled equal to false. So what I just did was I made two variants of same component and if I grab it outside you can see that um, it has a toggle and now I can you know switch between the two variants using this toggle and one more thing the, whoops uh, okay so one more thing uh, I specifically wrote true and false not yes or no or on and off it's it should be true and false so um, when we are defining it inside the uh, variables they also match with the same condition okay so uh this is done what i'm going to do is now i'm just going to grab one of this heart icon these are just uh numbers right now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab all of them shift a for the auto layout frame again if you want to see how uh auto layout framings are done you should follow my other playlist for auto layout and there you can see how auto layout works and how you can also excel in it but yeah anyways for this tutorial we're just focusing on this one Sorry to waste your time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna need another icon for comments. So just uh, the UI looks better. Uh, but yeah, again, shift A. And because we have five padding, it should be like that. It should be four. And I'm gonna again bring in four as well. So we have uh, these two. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab both of them and press shift A and then, you know, just, just to make it look pretty. But yeah. Uh, likes and comments are ready now what I need to do is I have to assign a variable I have to assign this to a variable first so that this can be changed in the prototype all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to local variables we already have a lot of variables from our previous videos so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to create locate sorry create collection and name this one likes Okay, and now I'm going to create a new variable, uh, which would be like count. And for now, the value is 243. So I'm going to name it 243. I'll, I'll tell you later what this number does. So for now, I'm just uh, using 243 here. And this is done. I can close it now. Now I have to select this number right here and assign this number to like count. And that's it. After that, I also have to assign the variable state to this specific heart right here, but we don't really have any variable in our variable system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to local variables again, and I'm gonna create a Boolean variable named with, um, let's just say light, and it's false right now. So now if I click here and I go here, right here, uh, right against the toggle and we can see the um, pentagon shape which is for variables and I'm going to select the light variable for this specific variant. So what we are doing right now is we are letting Figma know that this specific icon, this specific variant is going to be um, handled by the boolean variable that we just had created. So that's done. Now, the only thing is to write the logic. So I'm going to press, uh, sorry, I'm going to select this heart and I'm going to go to prototype and plus interaction and what happens on tap. So when it's tapped, I want the variable like count to be increased by one. So how do we tell Figma about that? So what, what we put here is we set the variable this one to what so what we want is to like count be added by one and that's it 
really so what how, how do we read this logic so it says that set this variable to something like this which is like count plus one so it's 243 plus one so let's just check if it's working correctly what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this inside our design and i'm going to place it right here and if i preview it right now it should work it better work and it's working it's not changing the state to the light one but because our logic was just to increase the number just to add one in likes count which if which figma is doing correctly so now the other part now the other thing that we need to do is we have to select again and when this when the user clicks on this button on this heart i want this to change to the fill icon so i'm going to create another action by pressing this button go to set variable now figma ask me which variable do i want to change i want to change the liked variable that i had created the boolean one in the beginning i'm going to select this one now it says what do you want it to change to, to? i want this variable to change to be changed to the true state and that's it so now if i click here you can see that it does change to 244 and the icon is changed but it doesn't let me press again why not because the state is now changed and now we are actually clicking on this specific icon which has no trigger on it right now so i have to add the actions there as well just just as i had added in the previous one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close it right now and i'm going to select this one sorry we, we are done with this now i'm going to select this one go to interaction press the press button on tab i want to change the variable which variable do i want to change i want the light count to be you know changed to something else now what do i want this light count to be changed to i want this to light count minus one i can uh, either use a keyboard or i can just uh, press subtraction and then press oops one and that's it so now figma knows that i want I want to set the light count variable to light count minus one when the user presses this button, which is exactly what we wanted. Now I want another action, which would be when I press this icon, I have to change it to the other icon, the false one. So when I click on this, I want to set the variable. Which variable do I want to set? It would be liked one. I want to set it to false and that's it. Now if I close it, and run our cute little application it's working <laughs> all right so now let's see why we actually did that because that problem might have been just solved by adding these two screens and in one screen we might have just said five likes with an empty heart and the other screen six likes with, an, with a filled heart but why we did all this effort so let's Let's see this is screen. Now we have five different posts with five different like amounts and five different like objects. And each of them are working individually and quite easily. But what happens if I use the same method that I just showed you above for these five screens? That means two states multiplied by five posts. That means 10 screens on one board. That would be too much. And this is just an example. You might have 10 different posts for 10 different objects for 10 different triggers and yes that's exactly where variables come in and they might help you so yeah if you enjoyed the video please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and in the next video i'll be talking about the conditional variables because because we just discovered how to use operators in our variables but the other thing the the most important thing we need to learn right now is how to use conditionals because using conditionals might come in handy when you have a lot of screens and a lot of uh, user flows and all of the user flows can be completed by using less and less screens. So yeah, that's all. See you in the next one.